live. Gonna be running the 737-800 out of Dallas Love Field this evening. Gonna go over to New Orleans. Uh, Kilo Mike, Sierra Yankee. Picked up the scenery today. Uh, Dallas Love. We're connected on Bat Seal. Also running FSLTL traffic right now to get a little, little bit of action here at the airport. Seeing several Southwest flights take off out of here. Take a quick look around here at the scenery. You got the Dallas skyline over there. Got an Alaska Airlines here. Uh, just rolled in and flew in while ago. I watched him land and taxi in. Looks like we got some Southwest here on the end. So yeah, a lot of Bowens here. Looks like we got an American over here. Kind of Southwest. So here's some cool, gonna jump inside here real quick and look inside the airport. I forget who makes this. Um, I picked this up off of INI's uh, website or INI's um, INI manager, I guess it is. It's pretty well modeled inside. Got it's a Whataburger here, Willie's, Chick-fil-A. So yeah, you got the departures. It's pretty neat. Welcome to Dallas Love Field. Flown in and out of here a couple of times in the real world. Uh, let's see if we can squeeze down here and see what the, if you look out the window there and see our Avello 737-800 there. There's the American. Other gates down here. Looks like we got some billboards for some golf and whatnot here. Yeah, pretty neat. I think uh, this was maybe twelve or fifteen dollars for the scenery. I'm gonna call it worth it. Looks like we got a Southwest down there on the end, uh, getting ready for departure. Uh, yeah, and there's our Avello over here. Not 100% sure I'm parked in the actual uh, gates that a Velo departs out of, but uh, I think I'm listening to a Southwest here. Let's see what's, yeah, he's going to be. Thought he might be coming down this runway to take off, but this seems as though he's not. Alright, so. Quick little walk around here. This is the 737-800 model tonight uh, out of Dallas Love Field. Just a quick little uh, walk around the plane here just to make sure everything's looking like it should. Call it looking good so far. back over here and get our camera situated in this position and let's jump back inside the cabin <clears throat> we have not done anything so let's uh get our summary profile here let's go ahead and fetch that do things a little differently tonight all right so we are a velo 4155 we are a 738 uh origin out of dallas love field 487 feet going over to new orleans kilo mike sierra yankee that's four foot elevation with an alternate of kmei i apologize i don't even know what that ikeo code is which airport kmei is but uh we can figure that out we'll do a little research on that here shortly uh Cruise altitude, 350, or 350, or 35,000. Cost index is going to be 40 tonight in our routing here. We'll be departing off 1-3 left on the Linder, or Lindry 5 departure, Zala transition, then direct SWB VOR. Uh, then over to the LSU and the Audad 1. I'm assuming that's probably going to crawl to add 1. <laughs> Arrival into uh, New Orleans there, expecting runway 11. Payload this evening, 14,423 pounds of fuel. Uh, reserves of 2.4, alternates of 4. Uh, gives us a uh, total fin res plus alternates of 6.4 with a zero fuel weight of 132.2. And a takeoff weight of 146.1. Payload did not 38.95, so we'll call that 39. 
Argo 8.7 or 8,745. We're carrying 159 passengers this evening. And let's see, average winds 268 at 75. Top of cruise, top of climb for cruise will be 268 at 109. Uh, top of climb temperature is going to be minus 48 with an ISO deviation of 7. And there we go. All right. So that's kind of our summary here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a few things going here. Let's open the door. And that door open here. I believe our jetway is already connected. It is indeed. So we will go ahead and start our pre-flight flows and we're gonna hope for the best this time that we had a few bugs last night after the PMDG update, but maybe- we'll Good afternoon, that. Captain. Good afternoon, Roy. Get some emergency lights on here. We'll go ahead and get our chime set and turn our logo light on and our position light on. And I am going to... Clear the program CDU. All right. I'm going to establish some ground power here. And hope that he doesn't delete it. I'm lucky. Uh, configuration, no good and well. I set this to be default of ground power, I believe. Yeah, startup power GPU. So, all right, we should be good. I believe that was a 737 700 thing last night that I experienced. So, let's jump down here and let's get our GPU or MCDU set and let's verify. He's got the navs already aligning, so that's going to be good. We're going to go one other thing here. We're going to call just for the sake of this, we'll go ahead and call our fuel truck over here and be set here on the fuel. So, we needed. 14,423. Go ahead and set that when the fuel truck arrives there and. All right, I'm going to check out the aircraft. All right, enjoy your walk around, Roy. And we are going to request refueling Refueling now. Is on its way. And in the midst of all of that, now we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna start setting up our MCDU here. Get our paws in it. We are at KDAL this evening. So we'll put that in as our reference airport. We're going to go left here. We'll pick up the left side GPS and we'll paste that into here and then hit our route. We'll paste our origin here out of DAL and we're going to request a flight plan. Uh, that's interesting. Fuel truck is in position. Hmm. Let's Please verify. Let's go back here and make sure it's possible that I did not click on. You know, it's quite possible that I failed to download that. So let's try this one more time. Yep, there we go. So we got that. All right. So <clears throat> can we do it this way? V, we'll experiment here. VXP 4155. Can we put that right there? We cannot. All right, let's just clear that out and let's go ahead and hit select and request. Please use your so that's airplane load. fuel system to set the desired fuel quantity. All right, fuel truck has arrived, so we're going to slide right over here. And we're going to go to ground services, next page, and we're going to go ahead and start the fuel. And we're ready to load here, so route should be ready. Uplink is ready. We're hit loading. We will activate and execute here. And now we will put in our flight number BXP uh, 4155 this evening. So we'll put that right here. All right, so there's our route. Let's go through the next phase. So we're direct Zela SWB, Zela SWB LSU. So that part's looking good. 
And what do we got for ATC? So we got Dallas Adis. So we are going to have to do just a little bit of work here. So let's uh, clear this out. And our current Adis right now is Information Golf. And we will get a runway and a via. And let's see, we are a few clouds at 2,000 overcast, uh, 25,000 temperature is 27, uh, dew point 19, altimeter 2953. Simultaneous visual approach to runway 13 right, 13 left in use. Departing runway 13 right, so we should be expecting 13 right here for our departure. Uh, birds in the vicinity are active. Please read back all hold short instructions. So our runway one three right is closed. So how did I miss that? Simultaneous approach departing runway is one three right. Nodum's bird. That's super interesting. All right. Well, we're going to expect one three right for this. And let's see what <coughs> we got. Dallas ground, Dallas tower. And we got regional approach, so we should be able to get ground 21750. So let's go ahead and tune that. Twenty-one seven fifty. Good evening, uh Dallas Ground. Velo 4155 information golf looking to pick up our IFR over to New Orleans. Viper back, stand by. Uh, Lindry, Lindry 5. Zayla. Uh, Viper 4155, love ground. Uh, if you'll stand by one, uh, love deli delivery is getting set up. He'll be up in two to three marks. Hey, Perm, we'll stand by for the clearance. Velo uh, 4155. I'm going to ground hello, South Force 2730 on mic two, <clears> then get nine. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit of other information here. Top to show 2730, this. love ground, taxi to parking deal. Top altitudes Mike, for 13, so it should be 8,000 is what we should be expecting here. And we're at 350, we should get that in 10. Just go ahead and get some stuff written down here so we're prepped, and we'll call him back up for clearance here momentarily. Apparently we're going to have somebody else coming up. Yep. 27,900. All right, we'll contact delivery on 27.9 of LL4155. All right, so we need 27.9. Good evening, Dallas Ground, or Dallas Delivery of LL4155. Information Golf looking to pick up our clearance over to New Orleans. Dallas uh, delivery, Kennedy Express uh, 132, radio check please. Is it going to be slow here? All aircraft calling uh, Love Ground just a moment ago. Um, I just had to re-log so I didn't hear any of you. My push to talk was off. My apologies. And love, uh, clearance uh, of LL 4155 has got information golf looking to pick up our IFR over to New Orleans. All right, of LL 4155, love ground, cleared to... New Orleans by the laundry, five departures daily, transition, then is filed, climb via the SID, expect flight level 35010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is going to be 125.02, squawk 0670. 
right, that is cleared to the New Orleans International Airport the, via the Laundry 5 departure Zayla transition that has filed. We will climb via the SID. Expect flight level 350 and 10. Departure frequency 125.02. Squat 0670 for Avella 4155. Avella 4155, read back correct. Push and start is at the pilot's discretion. Advise ground when ready to taxi. You can uh, expect one tree left for departure. All right, push and start at my discretion. We'll call ground when ready for taxi. We'll be expecting one three left, Avella 4155. All right, got a clearance. Got what we need. If you want to see what I wrote down there, you can take a look at that. We got the Laundry 5 Zayla transition that has file climb via the SID 350 and 10. Departure 125.02 and 0670 in the box. So let's go ahead and 06. Seven zero is set there. Put that into the standby here and all right, uh, we need radios here. Gonna need ground, which is 21750. 21750 is gonna be our ground. All right, and then we're going to need departure on 2502. Aircraft looks good. All right, Roy, thank you. Uh, we'll take Gate Gourmet. Are on their way. Left ground, southwest 1412, holding short, runway 13 left. Southwest 1412, uh, love ground contact, tower 123.7. Well, we got our departure frequency contact set in there. 123.7, have a wonderful day. All right, so... Let's go back here to our departure stand and let's set ourselves up. So he told us to expect 1-3 left, so we'll set 1-3 left here. And we are departing on the laundry Okay, to start five. boarding, Captain. Cleared to board. Boarding requested. All right. So we are looking for the Laundry 5. There's Laundry 5 right there. And we are looking for the Zayla transition. Zayla transition is there. Do you want to board crew? Uh, no, we do not because we already have crew on board, but thank you. Passengers boarding starting. All right, so we got the Zayla transition. We'll execute there. Let's double check this upper panel real quick. Make sure, all right, all right, we're good. All right, back down here. Let's go ahead then and select our arrival into KMSY, which is New Orleans, and current weather over there is 150 at 11. That's runway, uh, we should be expecting a left runway 11, so approach uh, for ILS for runway 11. 14-12, contact tower 123.7. Voodoo or Audad, so runway 11. Ground south we'll take Audad. Short delta with call for attack. And two fifty runway one tree right taxi via Delta One Lima. Audad one. One three right Delta and One Lima. LSU execute legs. Let's run through this and make sure we don't have any discos. All right, so we got a we got the voodoo, and voodoo is going to be probably the bottom of our arrival. So we're going to leave that for now. All that is our transition onto our approach. So we're going to leave that just for now. Uh, we can clear that out a little bit later, but I'm going to leave it because I'm kind of expecting it. So we're in it. All right, so zero fuel weight. We need to go get some things set over here on our payload real quick just to be sure we are accurate. So we're carrying 159 passengers, so we're gonna put 12 up here. That would be 147. Plus 12 would be 57 and two is 59. So that gets us our 59 and we got 8,745. So 
let's go eight thousand. Uh, nope, let's go four thousand. Four seven five here, and then we will go four thousand three hundred here, which would give us or 87.75, 87.45 is what we need, so we need 44.45 up here. All right, that's going to give us an accurate number, so now we're looking at 132.1, which that also is accurate. All right, so we're good there. Payload is set correctly. All right, so zero fuel weight is 30 to 132.1. And our reserves is going to be 6.5. And the cost index was going to be 4.0. Alright, that's set. And the cruise of 3.5.0. Execute here. Cruise wind is going to be 2.68 at 109. And we're looking at a top clock minus 48. Southwest 250, it. contact left tower 123.7. Good night. Tower will see you. Left D rate, uh, take off one is what we're going to do here. And we'll go flaps five for our departure. What are we looking like on fuel here? Let's go ahead and close this. Hmm. All right, so we got a little bit of a snafu here. So let's walk through these camera views real quick. And let me pull up what was, let's control nine throttles. Should be here and here. Set. All right, we're set there. We got fourteen four. Is that what we were loading? Uh, fourteen four. So I believe fuel truck should be complete. Yes, indeed. So we'll go back over to here. And we're going to go to ground services here, and we're going to dismiss the PMDG fuel trucks. We are fully loaded there, so that's looking good. All right, back to the box here. So that would let us pick up our CG here. So that's going to go to 5.14 on the CG. November 55264, contact left clearance delivery 127.9. Trim is Contact set. 139, 140, 148. We're going to bug 148 up top here. All right, 148 is set there. We'll get our flight director on. First officer's flight director is already on. And we should have the box pretty much fully set here. All right, that's looking good time here. We want to fill out a little bit of information over here. So we are going to initial altitude of 8,000. We are going via the SID. We are going flaps 5 and we are takeoff of 1. Packs will be on. Our temperature here on the ground is 27 degrees. So we're going to put that information in here. B1 is 139 and 140 and 148. All right, we are set there for all of that information. Okay, clear here. What do we got going on on the outside here? We got bags already loading in. 
that's looking good. Let's get just a little bit of panel lighting up here. And let's get a little bit more lighting over here. Crack these and crack, crack those and spin that up. What top here and we will brighten up the upper panel. Yeah, He's got our window heat already on, our nav stuff's down. here. Y'all damper is already on. Fuel pumps are all off. This has got us on the left side start today. We're good here. Uh, he's already got our pressurization set for us. Packs are in the correct position. Trim air, all right, probe heat off. Everything is looking pretty good. We are on ground power right now. We'll set that to T1. All right, we are ready for our pre-flight checklist, I believe. So let's go ahead and proceed. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Checked. Navigation transfer and display switches. Norm and auto. Window heat. On. Pressurization boat selector. Auto. Flight instruments. Heading and altitude set. Set. Parking brake. Set. Fuel control switches. Off. Checklist complete. Oxygen is test that display art, so we are good so far. Blood ground citation, 75 Romeo Alpha at signature, ready for taxi with golf. All right, a couple more things here. We want to go ahead and get our traffic rings turned on here, and we're going to get our traffic rings on on the, on the first officer side as well. And let's go ahead and go to plan view. Now let's take out this a little bit. November. And 75 Romeo Alpha, runway 13 left, taxi via Alpha. 13 left via Alpha, 75 Romeo Alpha. Alright, so here we are. Right into the runway, and then this is our missed approach here. Alright, so that's looking good. Legs set. We are going to climb at decibel seven eight. We'll cruise. We're going to bump that up for decibel eight zero for the cruise and execute and our descent here. Be just fine. We're going to set that at two eight zero for it down two eight zero. Set done. All right. I believe the box is set up. The aircraft is set up. Let's check out here and see what's happening. So we got aft cargo is just finishing up. So they're pulling away. I think we might have catering to go, but I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to get ourselves ready to get out of here. All right, so there we go. We got the board baggage is just finishing up as well. Boarding is now complete. All right, so I believe we're ready here. So we can go up top here and let's go ahead and bring on our fuel here. We're going to enter, we'll leave the anti-collision off for now. We'll go ahead and start the APU. Just bringing on this one forward uh, fuel pump for now to get the APU started. And then as we get going here, we will go ahead and do the four start blows. November 5, 5, 2, 6, 4, 
Cliff's going to start doing the rest of the things for us. Or Number Roy. 75, Romeo Alpha, contact, Love Tower 123.7. Uh, Order Tower, number 475, Romeo Alpha 2. November 5. Oh, five, two, we should not have done that until I got the AP going. Romeo 13 left, taxi via Alpha. That's my bad. He started too soon. I should have had the APU flow and then, then did it. APU will come alive here in a moment. Hopefully things will pick back up for us here. I know, I know. Just give me the APU and we go on the APU GN right away. There we go. We are on the APU GN. We got APU power here. Let's verify that we are still good in the box here. That's looking good. Dual FMC op restored. All right, and in it. Limits, verify our takeoff speeds once again. 148 is going to have to be reset here. That was again my bad there. So, flight director own, flight director own. And legs here, we're going to go a heading of 133 and then the 135. So, we do need to set 133 here on our heading bug. All right, we're set there. And let's get this side set too. Alright, 133 is set. Overhead is good. We are on the APU bus. Packs are already off, and I think now we can go ahead and prepare ourselves for pushback here. Alright, Roy's got our RTO set already. He's got our TCAS in standby. We got 07670 set. 217. Hello, Captain. Let's verify we are ground. Ready for push back. It's 217. We need to verify which way we want to push back here. I believe we want to go nose to the right, but we are expecting to go off of runway 3. Uh, 1 3. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. I want to go nose to the left, I believe, but. Yeah, we can go nose to the right. We're going to go nose right. Push back. Dallas ground, top of three six four, ready to taxi, gear. and we are at the terminals inside the cool set, cool set. Thanks. It's kind of six one half a dozen the other at this point. All right, what did we say? We're gonna go nose to the right. Nose right. Release parking brakes. All right, here we go. Parking brakes are released. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Four start checklist. Before start checklist. Flight deck door. Closed. Fuel. Off. Passenger signs. On. MCP. Set. Takeoff speeds. Set. CDU preflight. Checked. Rudder and aileron trim. Set. Taxi and takeoff brief. Complete. Anti-collision lights. Own. Checklist complete. One three left right. BMI exhaust of three six four. Turning two. All right, we've got start valve open. Low pressure. We do not have APU bleed on. There we go. Set.
Alright. Engine 2 cut out. Alright, turning 1. Set parking brakes. Parking brakes set. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. November 55264, contact. 20, 21, 22, fuel coming in on number 1. Good day. 1, 2, 3.7, have a good night. Alright, so we are going to be... on Quebec facing west. Alright, ground is 21,750. All engines stable. 21,750. Confirm good engine ground. start. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Dallas Ground, American 608, ready to taxi. American 608, Dallas Ground, Marine 1 Tree Right, taxi via Delta 1 Lima. Right, APU's off. One Tree Right via Delta 1, one. Lima. All right, Roy's got us looking good here, and we got our taxi light on, and we need to verify the ATIS one last time. Unlocking gear. ATIS is now hotel. And love ground, Avello 4155, we have information hotel, and push is complete, and we are ready for taxi 13 left, we are on Quebec, facing west. Left is clear, right is clear. Southwest 364, monitor the tower, 123.7, break, aircraft call and go again. Uh, ground, this is Avello 4155, information hotel, ready for taxi 13 left, we are on Quebec, facing west. 5, runway 1 to left, taxi via Bravo 5, Mike. One three left via Bravo 5, Mike, of LO4155. Bravo 5, Mike. Oh, that is not west, so we got to spin completely around here. We can do that. All right. He didn't listen too well, but that's all right. Tensional aircraft, tensional aircraft. Uh, information hotel is now current. Altimeter 2953, uh, south visual approaches in use. We're just spinning around here on the dime. Taxi checklist. Taxi checklist. Generators. On. Proby. On. Anti-ice. Off. Isolation valve. Auto. Engine start switches. Continuous. Recall. Continuous. Auto brakes. RTO. Set. Flight control. Full left, full right, full back, full forward, checked, ground equipment. Clear. Checklist complete. Uh, well, we actually need to go here to Bravo 5 and Mike. Did tell me go Bravo 5 Mike. Scratch pad, Bravo 5 Mike, verified. But the right, cockpit is your first officer. Uh, just want to take a moment to welcome you aboard and uh, thank you for flying with us today. Our taxi to the runway should be pretty uneventful and uh, we're anticipating an off time departure. Uh, just sit back, relax, and we'll have you in the air shortly.
traps are set. Nav and LNAV are set. We are about to depart out of Love Field. I don't believe I've even flown out of here in the sim before. Just picked up the scenery this evening uh, off of the I and I manager. Can't remember who the main who makes that scenery, but it seems to be pretty good. I do like it. All right, we're down here on Mike now, just about to reach the end for one three left. We do need to verify that we have 125.02 in on the radios. 125.02 that is set there, and we have a tower. We do. That's 23700. All right, so 23700. Target eighteen, southwest twelve fifteen, and uh, final one through right. Southwest twelve fifty nine, left target afternoon. The winds are one eight zero. Uh, correction, one seven zero at four takeoff checklist. Three runway one through right to the land shaft. Before takeoff checklist. One through right to the land shaft. Set. Uh, Stabilization yeah. train. Set. Checklist complete. Flight attendants prepare for takeoff. Take the XA Papa 4155, love to you up. A firm, Avella 4155, we are holding short, 1 3 left, ready for departure. Avella 4155, love to our RNAV door set, runway 1 3 left, clear for takeoff. RNAV door set, uh, runway 1 3 left, clear for takeoff, Avella 4155. Get out of here. Approaching runway 13 left. Entered runway 13 left. 7,700 feet traffic. remaining. Car on prior to arrival 737, caution rate turbulence. Runway 13 left, cleared for the option. Clear for the option 13 left, caution rate turbulence. November 5,000 feet. And November 234, you got traffic off to your 11 o'clock. Stop with 737 on final for 13 right. You got on the site. All right, here we go. Thrust set. Check. Four, Roger. Maintain finish separation. Speed a lot. Check. 80 knots. Check. 80 knots. Z1. Okay. Reset your scratch. Transponder clock 704. Here Positive rate. Boston 7042. Gear up. Roger, 7042. Acceleration altitude. Merc 608, the park is offline for exchange unit comms. We'll see you next time. Merc 608. Flaps 5. 
Laps two. Six to XA proper. What's the call time one more time? Flaps up. Man day. Heading select. I will always play 155 to park stop on free exchange with the comic school. Over to Unicom 4155. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Engine blue. Set. Pax. On. Lane the gear. Up. Flaps. Up. Checklist complete. All right. Did he say? Yep. Departure is offline, so we ought to be able to go on up to our cruise altitude. So we're going to go ahead and dial in. Now we're going to go one four fourteen thousand. Set. Watch the airspeed. All right, above six thousand. Southwest twelve fifty nine. Welcome to left field, ground point seven five. See you next time. I don't know what happened there. I just set that to one four fourteen thousand and it went back. Not 100% sure if I'm into this FSFO or not. It's giving me a few headaches along the way. All right. 250 knots above 7,000. Shram, we should be climbing here. Come on, climb, baby, climb. There we go. Top left 12, 90,000 left tower, you up? Yep, just got here. Top left 12, 97. Southwest 1297 left tower, RNAV door set, runway 1 2 right click take off. RNAV door set, just take off, Southwest 1297. Alright, we just left Dallas in our wake. Let's get our heading bugs synced up here. Heading bug is coming around. Alright, we're passing through 7,400. We're going to go ahead and set 10,000. Passing 10,000 feet. Pretty calm out. Up the big lakes there in Texas. Get the name of it, but I've been across that several times. 
They're on the north side of Dallas. Southwest 12, number 7, departures off the line of Bridge Station. Town's approved. See you next time. All right, there we are, out of, just off the left field there, climbing out to the east. And we'll head on over into Shreveport area before we make our kind of march down to the south there. Uh, SWB is the Sawmill VOR. So really at the Sawmill VOR is where we'll turn our south toward New Orleans. Over two six four runner one three left clear for the option. And the one three left is the option of number two three four. And uh, the number three six four, the ones are now one seven zero out one one gust two three. All right. There are bat seal map showing us here. We should actually have some ATC online here. Uh, we should have center, I believe. Would that be Fort Worth Center, ZFW? Got Albuquerque Line Center. Crew uh, transition transition out out. Check. Transition altitude is set, 18,000. This is what our climb profile is looking like. Heading bug is synced. Two 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 on our way up to three five zero.
256 on the way up to 350 now. Been airborne about 11 and about 12, just right at 12 minutes now. Always forget to set my stopwatch or my clock. I should be pushing this button here right as I'm pushing Toga. But first officer's done his job over here. I've got it on my iPad, so you know what we got. But it would be the right thing to do. So, whoops, everything looks good and clear there. Throttles. Up top is looking good. Cruise set, altitude 350. You're on the Gen 1. Well, that is looking good. Should be a rather uh, smooth, easy flight. Um, good evening, no, just over one hour over to New Orleans here from Dallas. I was hoping Fort Worth Center would come back. Oh, there we go. Fort Worth Center is 35, went 75. There he is. 35, 175. And Fort Worth Center of LL4155, plot level 287, climbing 350 on the laundry 5 departure. Uh, Villa 4155 Bar Center, good evening, Squawk 2374. 2374, Villa 4155. Southwest 1197, radar contact, climbing to amplitude level 350. Climb 350, Delta Southwest 197. Uh, Villa 4155, radar contact, just uh, north of the Tyler, VOR, climbing to amplitude level 350. 350, Villa 4155. Uh, what do you mean the other side? Do you, you, you mean one three right? Yes, sir. And then vector on the one three right side uh, to one three right as possible. Uh, um, I'd have to back you around DFW. All right. Let me stay with the. Uh, let me stay on course, then. Copy. I'll, I'll get your vectors defined. On the problem there. All right. What do we got here? Do we have station zone? We do have stations on. So we got SWB, which is Sawmill. Three six four forward center, squawk two three five three, please. Two three five three, which is thirteen one seventy five. Uh, you guys stepped on each other. That's the soldier one. We'll plan for the right side instead of the left. Thank you. Copy. Uh, Southwest 1201, plan for uh, runway 13 left. Too far to pick that up. Is it possible to get the right side? Uh, Southwest 1201. We got a Shreveport yeah, VOR. Elm Grove uh, VOR is 111.2. I, I got a, I'd have to back you around the north side of DFW. Okay, no problem. We'll 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 get one through left far. Yeah, no problem. Don't worry about it, I'll get you there. Fort Worth Center, American six oh eight. Uh, I'm not picking up any of those, so SWB is what I want here. Let's go ahead and go to fixes and put that in. Fort Worth Center, American six oh eight. So we are hundred and thirty miles from there. Uh just up the hold on. You can see that highlighted that as I put a fix and put a green circle around that VOR. EIC. It's a 65 miles away from there, from this VOR. Number 827-Alpha, four center squawk 2206, please. Which is the Shreveport Belcher VOR.
All right, we should have been climbing in V-Nav here. We're slow. We should have been climbing at decimal Southwest 79. Southwest 694, Board Center, Squawk 2232, please. Southwest 1594, radar contact, uh, 10 miles southwest of the uh, town of VOR. Union Southwest 1594, descend via the red N4 arrival, via love altimeter 2955, expect the ILF 13 left approach. Alright, send via the uh, arrival altimeter, uh, get the yard after room 13. Oh, we should be coming up on Longview here shortly. Uh, Roger that. Expect the RNAV 13 left approach. In fact, I believe that's the Longview. We should be looking at Longview Airport down here somewhere. That's Longview right below us. Over Longview, to Texas. I believe there's the airport out here. Southwest 2263, forward center, squawk uh, 2323. Three, two, three. Two, three, two, three. And Southwest 2263, radar contact uh, 20 miles to the southwest of the wake of the arc. Southwest 2263, continue descending via the uh, Baker 4 arrival. Left field altimeter 295, expect the ILF 13 left approach. Uh, can you on the Baker 4 and request the RNAV with the Baker 3 right? Uh, I'd have to vector you all the way around DFW for that. If, if that's something you're okay with, I got no problem doing it. Um, there's not a lot of traffic at DFW right now, but I'd have to back you know it's a DFW and then turn you around and bring you back south. Uh, okay, we'll expect that. All right, let's see. Southwest 187, we'll uh, do that. We'll, we'll let you see the crowd. Southwest 187, take a All right. At Southwest uh, 187, yeah, we'll do that. Speeds uh, back up to decimal 78, right. and we're continuing our climb out here. Just about to level off here in another 1,500 okay, feet. 27, I can give you a uh, one three eyes. Just maintain present head. No, not even 500 feet. Present head of 4,000, stop at 187. And forward there, stop at 401. You still need us at 7,000. Northwest 1594, heavy appendix through flight level 260. You're down on 17,000. We'll be there by 75. Uh, Northwest uh, 1594, roger. Uh, good evening, center maintained. Uh, Center maintain 8,000. Center 8,000. Uh, who's the other one calling in? About the 1201. I uh, still have 7,000. Press the lower. Uh, 1201, I gotta get you past the departure end of uh, Love Field here, then I can descend you down. No problem, sir. Such a pretty scenery. Look at the clouds down there. You can see the ground. It looks so real. Flight deck, we've reached our cruising altitude. Uh, the flight attendants will begin their service shortly. Uh, in the meantime, please keep your seatbelts fastened as trip meals can, uh, can occur at any time. Uh, again, welcome aboard. Alright, so seatbelt signs are off. The captain First has off, turned off the Roy is taking care of us. You're going to get up and use the lavatory. However, we ask that you do not form a line at the front of the aircraft.
up at our cruise altitude here. Let's get the heading bug synced up here. We need to always keep that thing in check. It's looking good. Yeah, American 942, I've got a slight amendment to your flight plan. The FW is in South Florida. I'm going to have to put you on that boot for arrival. That's Bravo, Oscar, Oscar, Victor, Echo, 4. Gee. Sawmill is 1375. So let's go ahead and jump there to that. And we're picking up Sawmill now at 80 miles out. Uh, American 942. Uh, so that's now here in the EIC. We don't know we need to track. We can delete EIC. Sawmill VOR is here. Go back to our legs here and let's get some stuff set up here. So we're going to be runway 11. So we'll go to fix and let's paste that here. And then let's give ourselves a 10 mile ring and a 5 mile ring. Currently inbound to KATL climbing 7,000 feet. Um, and IFR now that we're at cruise, time. let's go ahead and pull up some charts airport. here. What, what, Do a little uh, homework. Let me see here. Hold on just a minute. Alright, so let's unload here and let's import uh, from some brief. Uh, negative. I am in air at 7,000. Was told to contact you. Alright, and MSY. Copy, uh, squawk two, Looking three, to come seven, in on runway eleven. Uh, so we can take the uh, the ILS for that. And Supplement twelve zero one. Uh, I meant for you to hold that heading there. Uh, turn right ten degrees for me, please. Descend to maintain two thousand five hundred. Right ten degrees and uh, descend to maintain two thousand five hundred. Stop to left twelve zero one. One oh nine nine. No problem. No problem. And American nine forty two to send via the boot fix arrival. It to be a similar two nine or five three. And what's our course? One oh six. No six set Delta there. Delta two hundred, change squawk code two three zero seven. Delta two hundred, radar contact. I maintain flight level three seven zero. Let's take a look at the Crawdad one arrival here. All right, so turbo. Let's read what we got here. And uh, Northwest Airlines 1594, Lubbock altimeter 2954. You can expect the uh, ILS 17 right approach into Lubbock. All right, turbo jets landing Lewis Armstrong, New Orleans, 250 knots. Expect clearance to cross 11,000 at Aldad. Turbo jets landing other than Lewis Armstrong, so we're going to New Orleans, so we're going to expect 11,000 here. So we want 11,000 at Aldad. American 1824, sorry about that. Uh, we're actually going to be, yep, Victory 2, descend via the Victory 2 arrival, the FW altimeter 2953. Right, 2953 and altimeter, descend via the Victory 2, American 1824. Uh, Northwest Airlines 1594, turn left heading 090. Lewis Armstrong, so if we are landing Lewis Armstrong, New Orleans, 250 knots at 11,000. 250 knots so at 11,000. Landing Louisville Armstrong, Louis Armstrong, New Orleans, runway 11, expect MZ localizer and expect clearance for ILS runway 11 approach. All aircraft stand by one second. All right, so we're going to need to take all that and go to here and execute. Yeah, do you want me? Right. Route is set. 11,000 set for our altitude here. Cruise, we're 91 miles from our top of descent. 
and I'm hoping this year, man. All dead. <laughs> and let's drop it at 100 miles. Southwest 187, descend to maintain 2500, turn left heading 220. Stop heading, yeah. 220. Left 220. I'm sorry, right 220 and uh, down to, uh, what's the altitude? 2500, sir. So you can see here, top of the San Marcos here, I put a 100 mile ring around. That's going to be really close. Alright, we've got a little bit of overcast out there now. Cross CSAP at about 5,100, clear for the ILS, 17 right approach into Lubbock. 82 miles from our top of descent. Southwest 1201, turn uh, left heading 160, uh, correction, 5 miles from Nate, turn left heading 160, maintain 2,500 until established. On the localizer, clear for the ILS, runway uh, 13 left approach. All right, if you're just joining in with us, we're on our flight over from Dallas Love Field over to New Orleans. We are about 30 minutes into the flight, and we are roughly halfway there. Uh, coming up on the Sawmill VOR over in Louisiana, central Louisiana, straight north of Alexandria. And, and we are 25 miles from the Sawmill VOR. Going to be turning southward here in a little bit, make our way down to New Orleans. Uh, we are expecting to be running into New Orleans on landing uh, to the east there on runway 11. Uh, expecting the ILS. And we're going to cross Audad. And all that is here on the map. Southwest one eight seven seven maintain two thousand five. Eleven. We're going to cross that at eleven thousand. I believe it was. Let's verify that in Southwest here. Southwest one eight seven proceed direct. Look at yep. eleven thousand two hundred fifty knots. Two thousand five hundred. Clear for the RNF Zulu runway one three right approach. Clear to McLippy. Uh, maintain 2,500 to establish clear to ILS on a one. All right, we're going to land, run out of ATC here shortly too. Going to go to the radios and dial in 228. Southwest 2263 to center maintain. Be ready for the handoff here shortly. Seven thousand seven hundred twenty. And Northwest 1594 winds at Lubbock. Our two five zero three one gusting three four when we want some right clear land. Uh, BXP four one five five. You leave my airspace. Houston centers offline. We're turning to terminate. Exchange still visor approved. Have a safe flight. All right, over to advisory on 22.8. We'll see you next time on Vela 4155. See ya. Southwest 364, leave my airspace, man. All right. We're on over to Unicom now. 22.8 is set. That's the spot for my radio. We want to go radios. That's all two. Two. All right. And boom. And set. All right. We got 9.2 here on board right now. Did we know what we were expected to land with? Let's see. We should land with 7.2. What is, uh...
Crimp fuel was 59.52 plus 800. 500 for taxi fuel. So 64.52 off of 14.4 is what? Sixty-four fifty-seven. Give me seven nine. Expecting seven two. The fuel burn's not too far off there. Alright, let's double check here. We are 31 miles from our top of descent and we are looking for 11,000. So let's go ahead and set 11,000 here. Eleven thousand set, V nav, L nav set. It's gonna go fine. And then voodoo would be above seven. Turtle at four. So we can go ahead and set 2,000 to be honest with you. We're going to set 4,000 for now. 4,000 is set. Decimal eight zero. For the cruise, descent's going to be the same. Transition into 280, 23 miles on top of descent. And then we're 250, so we want to do... Fifty below ten. Louisiana, a place I've never been. Never been to New Orleans, but I'm gonna have to try that out sometime. I just really love this livery on the Avello Airlines. The paint scheme is amazing.
destination ATIS is 127.55. Coming up on our top of descent now, six miles. Louisiana. All right, there's our top of descent. Love to hear the rumble of these engines roll back. Just love that sound, that deep rumble. I hope you can hear that on stream. It sounds so good. The descent is rolling. There's our descent profile you can see there. And you can see our target of 11,000 at Aldad.
Running bug synced. All right, 42 minutes in the air. We've begun our descent. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Set. Recall. Set. Auto brakes. Set. Landing data. Complete. Approach briefing. Completed. Checklist complete. ILS set. minutes ago we got two nine or nine or two uh, let's, let's go ahead and preset that on the ground there in New Orleans so that's going to be our altimeter when we hit transition altitude here shortly Does a fellow land at All right, well, we're going to just have to pick our own spots here. So we're going to go to the Concourse C at Charlie, Charlie 7. That's going to be our plan here. Transition altitude, nearest altimeter, 2987. Check. 
approach briefing. Okay, we're expecting the ILS approach for runway. 1. 1. The minimum altitude is 200 feet. We'll use auto brakes 3. We can expect to park at gate. In case of go around, we'll climb per ATC instructions on the runway heading. Any questions? No. Alright, Charlie 7 is the plan. Got 1099. 1099 is set. So we're going to exit to the left, hopefully around Foxtrot. It's going to be our plan. All right, heading bug sink. We are in it ref. We're going to go flaps 40, 145. Lights will be alive.
passing 10,000 feet. Flaps 1, flaps 2, flaps 10, flaps 5,
flaps 10. Flaps 15, flaps 30, gear down. Flaps 40, landing checklist, engine start switches, speed brake, landing gear, flaps, checklist complete, flight attendants prepare for landing. Five hundred. Five hundred. Four hundred. Watch the airspeed. Three hundred. Minimums. Two hundred. Speed brake out. Reverse thrust. 100 knots. 80 knots. 60 knots.
Set. This parking is too small for your aircraft. Set. The boarding requested. Passengers, the boarding starting. Hi, 